in other versions of King Kong and has kind of been a second thought to this imaginative world. Everything happened to Anne. You never really got to understand how she got there and why she agreed to go on such an insane journey. That wasn't really a part of the story. But here you get to learn what she went through as an individual, um, as a woman in 1930 before uh, saying yes to something that changed her life. Anne is an outsider and I want her to have a different perspective to what the world has known. I want to hear that and tell her story. She is truly a soldier and a warrior, and she decides that it is in her best interest to go on this journey and, and saves herself. She's someone that's driving action and driving outcome and having self-realization as she goes along. And she's a leading character that takes you through a complicated journey. This version is transformative in a way that people are going to be surprised by. The piece has taken on another level of meaning again in terms of what's in the zeitgeist right now about standing up and being brave enough to take a stand on what's right. Aran Darrow is hopefully the woman that my niece wants to grow up to be. It's in that generation of young girls that really will change the world. It's Anne's story, and I hope that means that we've told a story that's very much for now. Jack has written Anne to be completely unapologetic and say exactly how she feels because she knows who she is. 